Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hi there and welcome to the show and today we're talking about dating for single parents and I'm joined by psychologist John Aiken to discuss this issue. Now it is more difficult for single parents to get out and date, isn't it? It's just more challenging. It absolutely is mm. and if you're a solo parent you'll be sitting there nodding going this is not an easy thing to do because you've got the kids to think about uh, and there are so many routines that are involved in your life, you're juggling just trying to get a little bit of time to yourself let alone then thinking about bringing someone else into it. So it's a real challenge. What are the main concerns that single parents have? Well, I think one of the big ones is uh, whether or not the, the, the children involved have grieved and have moved on and let go mm. of the previous relationship, the previous marriage, or are they still you know, really upset about it? And how are they going to be impacted by someone new coming into it? So I think the kids is a big one. Uh, I think another real uh, challenge is... Um, you know, organizing the routine so that you're allowing someone else in and feeling a lot of guilt about that uh, and, and not being able to put the kids first as often as perhaps you were before someone new comes into your life. So lots of feelings, uh, lots of change of routines and uh, also how is the ex going to be involved with this? Because unlike a lot of relationships where the ex isn't a part of anything, in this situation, they're very possibly co-parenting and, yep. and, and very much involved in your life. So bringing someone new into it isn't very straightforward. So there are so many levels to, to how challenging this is, but you would say that should not be a barrier to getting out and dating to find someone who's right for you, would you? I mean, don't use it as an excuse, even though it is a bit more challenging. No, so that, no, you're not into excuses when it comes no, to dating. Uh, you look, just got to get on. I, I do look, and, and and I am not. Although I'm married with with, with a child, I'm not a solo parent, uh, and so. I do absolutely respect uh, what they're telling me when I see them in private practice. Mm. Uh, it is difficult. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, I meet a lot of uh, people that have found love again. They were solo parents before. And uh, as long as they're keeping the kids first in their, in their life and making sure that their routines generally run smoothly, they've been able to find someone special that's just taken their life to a whole different level and that there are guys out there or women out there that are happy to get involved with a solo parent because at the end of the day we all come with a package now for a solo parent they've, they come with uh, children mm. and an ex uh, but for others they might have lost their partner or it might be that they travel a lot or uh, they have a very over-involved mother mm. uh, yeah. that's that's ill that they have to look after whatever the package uh, if that person is for you then you embrace it so uh, and there are people out there that will do that and if you're a solo parent you have to push through that and realise there are people out there that will absolutely say yes. But it's perfectly reasonable for them to feel a little bit fearful going out into the dating yep. scene. Obviously, you're a little bit nervous telling people, well, I've got kids in case you then get knocked back and rejected as well. So yep. it adds that whole other layer to the dating process. So how can, what can they do to make it more easy and more comfortable well, I as think a they, single I think one thing you want to look at a mindset to take on board mm. is that your kids are a wonderful yardstick. If a guy, for instance, isn't going to be able to cope with you having kids, then they're not up to it and you move them along. So you see it as a positive, yep. not as okay. a negative. This is a wonderful way of finding out who's in it long term, who's committed, and those that are just players. So think about the kids as a real positive. And then what you do is you've got to think about also another uh, a number of things uh, before diving in there. First up, you, you have to think uh, about taking things very slowly. It's not just let's jump in, let's move it along quickly because you've got kids involved. So take it slowly. You also need to also sit down and get your expectations out about what you're looking for in a relationship. So when you first go on a date with someone... Yeah. You really need to tell them right up front, yeah. I've got kids. Yep. This is you know, obviously yep. going to be a priority. In my yeah, and be proud of it, yeah. you know, because kids are a wonderful thing. Mm. And, and be up front and also tell them that you're looking for commitment, not, uh, you know, casual fling. Unless you are into a casual fling. That's, that, casual. that's true, yeah. Uh, and, then, and then what you're doing is you're, 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 when you start to date, uh, you don't want to introduce the people too early. Uh, you also want to make sure that you're always putting the kids first. Mm. You don't want to get in that horrible situation where you're putting your new boyfriend before them and you're breaking promises or, or letting the kids down. They all always must come first. 
Uh, and then also keep in mind, uh, I'd also say, that new person that comes into your life, don't make them the parent. No, nothing you know? worse. No, you're yeah. the parent and there's someone who you're starting to get to know that may, hopefully down the track, play a role in your life. Okay, John. Well, in part two of this episode, John will be back to talk about how to handle introducing your children to your new partner. And we'll see you then. Your love life. Let's talk about it at naomishow.com.